All right, I got to do it. This is the biggest story on the internet right now. Dr. Disrespect, if you guys don't know who this is, this is the biggest streamer in the world, okay? Uh, biggest Twitch streamer in the world. Uh, he has this whole shtick where he plays all the video games, whatever. He was, uh, you know, one of these guys that got like a multi-million dollar contract just to, to stream on Twitch. He got fired and uh, uh, no one knew why. No one knew why until very recently. And uh, I would say until basically like yesterday and today did everyone know for sure what this was about. And it is uh, in the Diddy land. It's a, it's a Diddy impression. He was doing a, I mean, let's not actually, I'm not going to lump him in with Diddy yet, but, uh, but I'm basically, I'm going to react to Jamari's video about this because this guy could not have cooked himself worse. He did the worst management of this situation. It involves minors. It involves inappropriate DMs. It involves the whole nine yards. It's a nightmare for this guy. His life's over, dude. There's a, there are two things that the internet will not stand for at all, and that is abusive women and going after kids that are minors, period. You're done. You are finished when this happens. There's no coming back. That is just what it is, and we're going to talk about it right now because somehow through the Diddy thing, I have uh, expanded what I'm allowed to talk about on this channel, which I enjoy quite a bit because I like talking about these topics. Uh, but Jamari always does a really good job. I have not seen his video on this, but he just put it out three hours ago, so I'm sure it's very up to date and uh that is what we're going to do so uh let's watch uh this take on the dr disrespect thing and i'm going to react to it so there was a streamer out there who goes by the name dr disrespect he first began his career online almost 15 years ago making call of duty commentary and other gaming videos look at this guy running down the middle of the street you think he's smart He's not smart. In fact, his brother isn't smart either. From the start, people really loved both him and this persona that he put on. This was still a very primitive time for the platform as a whole, but Doc was one of those early YouTubers who really saw the bigger picture and the massive gains which could come from thinking more like a businessman and less like a run-of-the-mill creator. Which is why he became a multi-millionaire doing it, right? It's amazing when you see where this story is gonna go that a person could be so smart and so stupid at the same time. Uh, and by the way, being uh, smart and stupid, I forgot to mention, I'm just getting back from Mexico. I could really use the help. Go ahead and forward this video to people, like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. That's all I ask. If you're going to watch my content, just please subscribe. It takes two seconds. I appreciate you guys. He was clearly building a brand with a strong direction and a loyal fan base. You're watching one of the most perfect specimens, right? Perfectly designed. Look at, look at that. Look at the hand-to-head -hand ratio. It's absolutely flawless. My biceps, the exact same size as my calves. This is Doc, you're the most stand-up dude on Twitch and so damn entertaining. Can we coin your signature dance move as the slick daddy slide? Ooh. <laughs> yes. See, this is the thing, dude. With guys like him, clever, you know, seems to be a... I, don't, I mean, I don't really know exactly what he looks like when he's not all done up, but like, seems to like a relatively good-looking dude. Tends to be a high correlation with a decent size sex drive. Why is that relevant? Interesting thing to ask because this leads to him doing bad messages to a kid. Why? Well, I, I mean, let me just uh, let me rephrase that. There is no connection between high testosterone and talking to kids. And we also have no idea how old this girl was that he ends up getting, you know, ruined over. We just know she's a minor. I don't it doesn't matter it's just wrong it's wrong but there is a big difference between a 12 year old and a 17 and a half year old obviously but uh people need to stop thinking with their dick man like if you have a following or you at least need to be able to temper your dick with like one side of your brain or like a 10 percent input from your brain where you're like oh wow like best case scenario for this guy where this is going best case scenario oh my God, this girl is an absolute smoke show, right? Like, wow, she's a smoke. And if you think there are no 16, 17 year old smoke shows, you're crazy. That is just not true. However, uh, the second that you find out that they're, that they're minors, that deal is over, okay? Because they're kids. Also, because the repercussions are so, are, are so devastating, they'll destroy your life, dude. You have to be able to be like, yeah, I could turn this down, right? Like, of course I can turn this down. Not to mention he's married. Anyway, uh, get it together, guy. Let's continue. And over the next half decade, he would grind out YouTube. And he even got some opportunities to work directly in the development of a couple of AAA titles at the time. But it was not until 2015 when he would start streaming on Justin TV, now known as Twitch, and he quickly began to dominate the site. Fucking game! This game is a, this game is a joke! It's a shotgun blast right here! 
By 2018, Doc was breaking records and signing massive deals with some major brands. It was beyond clear this streaming and this persona that he had created was like a match made in heaven. He had the world by the balls. Is, let's define, he had the world by the balls. And this all resulted in him becoming one of the most popular people on Twitch, period. So everything was going great for Doc. Yes, he had a few bumps in the road, like when he cheated on his wife and then cried on stream about it. As you guys know, I have a, a beautiful family and a wife and kid. I want to be transparent that I've been unfaithful and and I'm probably going to be taking some time away, ta time off. And of course, there was also the time he got a temporary ban on Twitch for streaming in the restroom at Why did he have to t why why would he tell us why would he tell his audience that? Why on earth would he tell his audience that? What are you doing? How is that any of your audience's business? It's something that happened between you and your wife, unless that went public and I don't know about it. At E3. But overall, he was still in completely over his head with success and an abundance of opportunity. But then on June 26 of 2020, exactly four years ago to this day, things would change drastically as seemingly out of nowhere, Doc would get banned. Twitch's official statement on the ban would read, as is our process, we take appropriate action when we have evidence that a streamer has acted in violation of our community guidelines or terms of service. These apply to all streamers regardless of status or prominence in the community, with Discord also removing him from their partner program. Now immediately, Doc would claim that he had no idea why he was banned from Twitch, also stating that his contracts were still in good standing. From here, he would begin to stream on YouTube, and in August of 2021, he would announce that he knew the reason for his ban and would be suing Twitch. But a lot of people ask me, do, do you know the reason? Yeah, I do know the reason why now. I've known for months now the reason why. And I'll just say this right now, champs. There's a reason why we're suing the f out of them. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. If he did know and he knew that this had something to do with him uh, mess, you know, DMing a minor. Because Listen, this still, the details of this thing are still very murky. OK, the detail, like whether he knew whether he knew that this this person was a minor, that's very important because bottom line, infidelity, not Twitch's business, not their business, just not their business. That's between him and his wife. Someone wants to go cheat on their wife. Scumbag. Fine. But that's between him and his wife. OK, if he's messaging a girl, that is not reason to terminate a contract. If you're messaging a minor, that is a completely different story. And, uh, you know. If it was a minor and he knew, this is a pretty ballsy, you know, way to take this story. It's like, we're suing him. We're going to get him. Because at any point, they could have come out with the real story if they uh, wanted to get defensive about it. But they didn't. Okay. By March of the next year, it would be revealed that they had resolved this legal dispute and that he would not be returning to the platform. So the speculation and growing anger towards Twitch's decision really only grew in the eyes of the general public. But here is where things get really interesting. Because for the past four years since his banning, Doc has retained the position that it was unjust and that it really affected his career and potential to make money in a massive way. Yeah, I make probably a fourth, a quarter of what I was making on Twitch. You think a big time company like Nike is gonna wanna work with that big question mark? Huh? Or Disney? It fucking sucks. Blood, they're cash here. But now the truth is seemingly coming to light piece by piece again ballsy if he knew what the real reason was and it had to do with him talking to minors and it all started when a former twitch employee named cody connors tweeted out he got banned because he got caught a minor in the existing twitch whispers product he was trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon, the powers that could be read in plain text. Of course, this all sparked a massive storm online, and his buddies rushed to defend him. These are some crazy accusations. Crazy. Until we know them as fact, until they've been proven with evidence, what are we talking about? And why did the guy put that information out? Why did this guy Cody put this information out? Because here's the thing, all of this is all, this is all review for me. I've heard all of this. I'm, I'm doing a reaction to it because I knew Jamari would do a good job kind of itemizing it so that I didn't have to go edit all of it together. I appreciate you. You got a much bigger channel than me, dude. Okay, I just got back from Mexico. I got to, you know, I got to get some content out. But uh, listen, dude, like, 
why, why can't, if, if Dr. Disrespect had a non-disclosure agreement with Twitch and then this guy put that information out, he should be able to sue Twitch because I guarantee when that guy left Twitch, he signed something that says he's not allowed to break non-disclosure agreements or, or, you know, violate terms related to the company. He's got a strong lawsuit here, right? What's anybody talking about? You even had one of the Tate brothers speak up saying that he knows what it's like to be a tall successful man who women are throwing themselves at and he just knows that Doc is innocent. And then you even had Doc himself tweeting out, Listen, I'm obviously tied to legal obligations from the settlement with Twitch, but I just need to say what I can say since this is the f***ing internet. I didn't do anything wrong, all of this had been probed and settled, nothing illegal, no wrongdoing was found, and I was paid. Elden Ring Monday. So obviously- so if you solicit sex from a minor, that's a crime. Like that's a crime, bottom line. That's a crime. So I, uh, I still struggle to know what to make of this, even though, as we're gonna find out shortly, Dr. Disrespect is about to bury himself with his own words. Uh, so let's just watch that happen. Obviously, a lot of people found this statement to be sketchy to say the least, while others speculated that he couldn't outright say he wasn't talking to or interested in meeting up with a minor due to legal bindings. The next time he would boot up his stream, he would claim that he was not interested in speaking on these allegations at all. For those that are looking for me to expand on this weekend, not gonna. I already said what I needed to say. I don't give a fuck about this guy. That's it. And for the rest of this stream, he would seem pretty distraught and even speak about taking some time away from the internet in general. It's wanting to just kind of move away from the limelight. Ultimately, that's what it's about. Yeah, hey, can you think of anybody else who wanted to move away from the limelight uh, and then try to figure out why? Usually people who want to move away from the limelight, it's because they know they got baggage that could blow them up. I mean, bottom line. Time to drive into the sunset, says Swervin. Oof, man, I like your style. It might be time to drive in the sunset, champs. Now this is where the real hammers kind of start to drop. As his own gaming studio, Midnight Society, which he co-founded, would announce that they would be terminating their relationship with him, citing that they assumed his innocence but after speaking with the parties involved, had no choice but to make this damning decision. People speculated that he actually got word of this while on stream and noticed that it changed his entire demeanor. This is nuts right here. So obviously- this So like that, I know that look. I know that look very well. I'll tell you, uh, uh, you saw that look on my face earlier today. No, I mean, not that one. <laughs> not a, uh, hey, dude, uh, you know that scandal that you had with the miners? That's coming out. It, it's all coming out. Dr. Disrespect was with a kid. He was with a kid. Did you say a kid? I'm just kidding. But uh, like earlier today when I was doing my, uh, you know, I was doing videos or whatever. I guess I uploaded my very first video uh, back from Mexico, which is always this like really sketchy moment because every single time that I take a trip and then I don't post videos, like I, I go live as much as I can. I mean, you know, normally in a week I do like eight, nine, you know, like videos and lives like nine ish, something like that. When I'm gone, I usually do like four, you know, cause I can only go live. I usually only do like one video and that's exactly what happened this week. And then as soon as I come back, every time, whenever I upload my first video, it just gets murked and it's, it's horrible, dude. Like, you know, and you're looking, you're like, God damn it. It's just the way it is. And it was extra bad on my first video today. And so like I was recording my next video and I saw how many views it had gotten in the first 15 minutes. And I was like, and I just froze just like him. <laughs> His is a little more serious than mine, uh, since my second video is performing very well. So let's continue. More or less confirmed that they peeked behind the curtain and didn't like what they saw to a point where they felt like action needed to be taken. Of course, people started making jokes saying, hey doc, I heard you like I'm young and posting videos of his quote unquote new setup. And they also brought up this clip from two months ago. I remember someone saying, doctor's disrespect got banned from Twitch because he was messaging rich girls on Twitch. Why? He said that. Wait, what? That isn't, that's not it. <laughs> We're about to learn all about the DMCA what process the now. That's what I, I'm saying, Why when I heard it, 
does he say that? If I'm the duck, I'm suing you right now. I would yeah. actually sue you. Now, this would all more or less force Dog's hand. So he would once again tweet out that he wants to cut the fucking bullshit, claiming that he's always been upfront and real. He would then apologize to his community. This is a very bad message here. Community and confirm that he would be stepping down from his position in the gaming studio company. Everyone has been wanting to know why I was banned from Twitch, but for reasons outside of my control, I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations, I can tell you my side of the story regarding the ban. Bad, bad, bad idea, dude. Bad idea. Don't do it. Don't do it. But he didn't. Were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual back in 2017? The answer is yes. Were there real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate. But nothing more. Nothing illegal happened. No pictures were shared. No crimes were committed. I never even met the individual. I went through a lengthy operation regarding a civil dispute with Twitch, and that case was resolved by settlement. Let me be clear, it was not a criminal case against me, and no criminal charges have ever been brought. Man, the second, the second he said a minor, you slit your own throat. That's it. That's it, dude. The second he said a minor, that's it. You cannot come back from that, dude. Like, that's just the way it is on the internet, man. You cannot come back from shit with minors. You cannot do it. It cannot be done. It's the one thing, well, that and abusing women, dude. I saw this, uh, this thing while I was in um, Mexico. I was watching this thing with this guy, like, it is Alex. My God, man. Like, I've gotten more and more into kind of the, uh, I don't know, whatever, whatever, like, Jamari is, right? Like, Jamari, these guys that, like, cover all the internet, internet stuff. Like, Jamari, actually, he's more, like, hip, I don't know. The way that I'm combat sports... And then also some of this stuff, Jamari's like hip hop and then some of this stuff. And then other guys are like just pure commentary channels, whatever. But I've gotten more into that. But there's this guy, it is Alex. And it's, it's all it is, just like internet beef. It's just like this channel said this, this channel said this, blah, blah, blah. But this guy, it is Alex. Man, you better have your fucking ducks in a line if you're in that community. Because man, there are people who are just racking up files of shit on you. That kid is an abusive psychopath brought against me. From a moral standpoint, I'll absolutely take responsibility. I should have never entertained those conversations to begin with. That's on me. That's on me as an adult, a husband, and a father. It should have never happened. I get it. I'm not perfect, and I own my f***ing That was in 2017. A minor. Why would you say a mi- Fuck, dude. I mean, what are we talking about here? Like, what are we talking about here, minor? Like, what are we talking about? How, how would anyone know that she's a minor- Unless that person said it in the messages or shit, I don't know. Uh, you know what I mean? Like how, how else could they hold it against him unless she had said it in the messages that she was like a minor? Shit, this was stupid. Still, Doc would retain that he is not a predator, that he doesn't care about his quote-unquote haters, and lastly made it clear that he had no intentions to go anywhere. So basically, Dr. Disrespect confirms here that he was indeed having inappropriate conversations with someone who was not of age. I find it hilarious that his only real defense of himself is that he never had any intentions behind these personal conversations he was engaged in. It's kind of like saying, oh, I didn't plan to rob the bank. I just got the ski mask, the gun, the rope, and of course the blueprints of the building as well as the security guard's schedule. And let's be clear that these chat logs have not and likely will never be released to the public, but it's pretty obvious there was something damning in there. Yes, otherwise they wouldn't have ended their relationship with him. The, uh, the gaming company. Uh, you know what I mean? Like he helped found the company. There'd be something pretty serious in there for him to violate the, uh, you know, whatever their, uh, operating agreement was where they could just be like, yeah, we're done with this guy. One of the heads of his now former studio tweeted out, this is a statement from me personally. It does not reflect any of my companies and has not gone through any legal or PR approvals. If you inappropriately message a minor, I cannot work with you, period. I promised to only act on facts and I did. And some of his good friends would even come forward with their reactions to this new information. I read through Doc's tweet and in that very tweet, uh, he basically confirms that, you know, he was texting an underage girl and it went weird sometimes, you know, and, and look, there's no excuse for something like that. I have known Doc for a while now. We've played games for years. 
if he knew that was a minor, and those were the messages being sent. I cannot support that. No yeah. matter what it looks like publicly, it usually means someone did something, right? Or there was some truth to some enough truth. Right? You, you you settle to cover things up. What's up with his tattoo? I like I saw this earlier, and I'm like, dude, if you're gonna get a sleeve, you gotta wrap it. Like that just looks weird. It looks like you were afraid to get it on the inside of your arm, which hurts bad. But like that's just weird to get it only on the outside. I think I've never seen that before. I don't think. Anyway, whatever. Let's. Uh, you guys get the point, dude. This story's fucked, and so is Doctor Disrespect. He's done, dude. I mean, he's done. I think. I don't know. I mean, I. I <laughs> Here's the deal, dude. Here's the deal. You want to know the honest truth about this kind of thing? Is that at the end of the day, right? Your popularity comes from people at home making a singular convert uh, like decision to watch your content. That's it right? There's not a big group of people watching online streamers. So if you want to get through this, what you do is you shut the fuck up, shut up and just keep making content. Okay. I'm not defending what he did at all. I'm just talking about like, in terms of your career, Dr. Disrespect, you need to stop talking forever about this. Stop talking about it. Never say another thing about it and just keep on making content as if it's not happening. You go, you play your games. People want to talk to you in the chat about it. You ignore it, whatever. They're never going to let you leave it down, but you just ignore it. Or you can have no career. That's your, those are your options. Never talk to a fucking person again. I mean, if you didn't touch a kid, he didn't send any pictures or whatever. He's dumb. He's up late at night. Maybe he's like, you know, maybe he's, you know, taking something where he's up and he's like, God, I'm just kind of feeling very awake and I'm just, just having a conversation here. Dumb, but... Not the end of the world as long as, you know, he didn't sext anyone and he wasn't actually going to meet up with them. But there's no way to verify that whatsoever. I don't know, dude. I don't know what to say other than the guy needs to definitely stop fucking talking about it. If he wants to have a career past right this second and just start making content again and just be done with this. Because there's no coming back for the minor thing, dude. None. None.